Hello Arcanians, welcome again on the channel but with a new journey and different course. As we mentioned in the introduction video, this course will be dedicated to mastering the Arabic vowels. The Arabic vowels basically have two types, short vowels and long vowels. Let's take English as an example. The word fit, for instance, has a short vowel, while the word feet has a long vowel. Now in Arabic, the consonants or letters are written in words, while the vowels are left out not written and they are also written in a different way than English. In today's lesson, we'll explain the short vowels of Arabic. And short vowels in Arabic is called harakot, harakot. And harakot means motions in Arabic. And harakot is one of the categories of the Arabic diacritic. The main use of diacritics is to change the sound of the letters to which they are added. The Arabic diacritics is called tashkil, tashkil which is an additional sign or mark added above or below the letter. Also, the literal meaning of it is forming or shaping in Arabic. So the main purpose of tashkil or harakat is to provide phonetic guides and help with the correct pronunciation of words, especially for children and foreigners who learn Arabic. The majority of Arabic scripts are written without the short vowels or harakat, and that's because the pronunciation of words are understood from the context alone and also because it's time-consuming to write them on each word. However, they are commonly used in religious texts that demand strict adherence to the correct pronunciation rules, and sometimes they can be used for official purposes, at uni or school for instance. Short vowels can also be used in cases where the readers cannot easily resolve words' ambiguity from context alone. And with that out of the way, let's get to learn the short vowels of Arabic. All right, so the first short vowel we're learning today is called Fatha, Fatha. And Fatha is represented by that diagonal line placed on the top of a letter. And Fatha means opening in Arabic because it opens up the letters and elevates them. Fatha gives us the A sound, A sound, because it comes from letter Aleph. In fact, short vowels basically originate from long vowels that we will explain in another video. Now let's take an example to clear this up. If we take the letter B, B, and add Fatha on top of it, then it will be pronounced as B, B. Now let's take this and apply it to an actual word. If we look at the word Balad, Balad, which means country in Arabic, notice how we pronounce the letter B in this word. We pronounce it as B, B. So it's Balad, Balad. All right, now let's move on to explain the next short vowel. All right. So the next short vowel of Arabic is called Dhamma, Dhamma. And Dhamma has an apostrophe-like shape or also looks like letter well that is written above the letter. Dhamma means putting something or someone together in a cadilla-like shape and that's literally what it does to letters. Dhamma gives us the O sound or O sound because it originates from letter well. Now let's take an example to clear this up. If we take the letter Kaf and put Dhamma on top of it, then it will be pronounced as ku, ku, ku. Now let's take this and apply it to an actual word. If we look at the word kursi, kursi, which means chair in Arabic, notice how we pronounce the letter kaf in this word. So it is pronounced as ku, ku, ku. So it's kursi, kursi. All right, now let's move on and explain the last short vowel of Arabic. All right. So the third and short vowel of Arabic is called Qasra, Qasra. And Qasra is represented by that diagonal line placed below a letter. And Qasra means something is being broken and that's literally what it does to letters, as it takes them down and breaks them. So Qasra gives us the E sound, E sound, because it originates from the letter Ye. Now let's take an example to make that more clear for you. If we take the letter Fe, Fe, and add Qasra below it, then it will be pronounced as fi, fi. Now let's take this and apply it to an actual word. If we look at the word feel, feel, which means elephant in Arabic, notice how we pronounce the letter fi in this word. It is pronounced as fi, fi. So it is feel, feel. Now let's wrap this lesson up and talk about three notices here. So the first notice is that the vowels are always pronounced after the consonants of letters and never before them. 
Let's take the word hur, hur as an example, which means free in Arabic. Now this word starts with the letter ha that has dhamma over it. And as you notice here, the vowel was pronounced after letter ha and not before it. As for the second notice, you can find multiple short vowels in the same word. Let's take the word hegara, hegara as an example, which means stones or batter in Arabic. Now this word has kasra on the letter ha and fatha or letter gim and another fatha or letter ra and so on with the examples. Now for the last and third notice for today, vowels are really important because they can differentiate between words and changing some vowels can give an entire different meaning to words. If we look at those two words, at the first glance, you might think they are the same because they got the same three exact consonants or letters, which are letter kef, letter t, and letter b. Now, if we add different vowels to both of them, this will give us different meanings to both of them. Where well, the first one that has dhamma on both kef and t means books in Arabic, while the second one that has fatha on both kef and t means the verb bright in Arabic. So this example tells us how important the vowels are, not only for guiding us on how to pronounce letters, but also how they can change the entire meanings of some words. All right, guys, let's end this lesson with pronouncing the whole Arabic letters with the short vowel that we talked today, just in case you want to still make sure how they all sound. All right, listen carefully. Alif, A, E, U, B, 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 Bu, T, 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 Tu, Th, Th, Thi, Thu, Gim, G, G, Gu, Ha, Ha, Hi, Hu, Kh, Kh, Khi, Hu, Del, D, D, Du, Del, the, 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 ra, ra, ri, ru, zain, ze, zi, zu, sin, se, si, su, shin, she, shi, shu, sod, so, si, su, dod, do, di, do. Ta, ta, tri, tu, va, va, vi, vu, ain, ae, ai, ho, rin, re, ri, ru, fe, fe, fi, fu, kof, pa, qi, ku, kef, ke, ki, ku. Lam, la, li, lu, mim, ma, mi, mu, nun, na, ni, nu, wow, wa, we, wu, he, ha, he, hu, ye, 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 you. Alright guys, this mark is the end of our lesson. I hope you found this lesson easy and helpful. And if you do, then consider subscribing, liking, and sharing it with other people so they can benefit from it. And if you have any questions regarding this lesson, then do not hesitate to put them in the comment section below. In the next lesson, we will continue our journey and explain more Arabic vowels. Goodbye for now, and I will see you later in the next Arabic arc.